the problem is with it. But anyway, so I get a great deal in an apartment. Sure. And uh, when I'm leaving, I'm asking, you know, I ask him, is there some sort of like insect or a rodent issue going on here? And he goes, well, which is like indicative of, yeah. of course, like obviously there's a problem yeah, with this apartment. Yeah, yeah. And there was, it was infested with mice. Mm. So he tells me, just get a cat. And so I decided to enter into a symbiotic relationship with a cat, wherein by I would provide food and shelter and she would remediate my mouse problem. Nice. So symbiotic remediate gruel city. (laughs) (laughs) Gruel's fucking city right now. All right. All right. So that'll tell you like the little bit longer version, which is that. So when I go to uh, pick her up, you know, I go to this uh, rescue place and I just like see this cat, Mm -hmm. pet her a few times. Seems normal. I tell the girl, let's go with this one. And she's like, well, why don't you spend some more time with her? And I was like, I'm Not, moving. Yeah. Yeah. It's week. a fucking cat. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And she goes, well, you know, it's going to take a couple of days to do the paperwork. Why don't you come back and see her? I'm like, no. Yeah. What am I saying to her? Oh, was this an adult cat? <laughs> yes. All right. That's a rough one to pick up from a shelter. Yeah. So I learned. It's a killing machine. Yeah. You got to go kitten or young. All right. Sorry. No, no. That's it. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> right. Up I mean, a, like. A stray cat. Right. That's basically, yeah. That could yeah, have but in terms of, you, you want to know that, that thing was able to catch its own food and shit. Yes. So he did a good well, thing. It, it Dude, bringing in claws. a feral cat is... Yeah, I brought one into my house. They're fucking sick. You, how'd it work? It was cool. What, it was fine? My cat actually was a sweetheart. His name is Garfield. But I think he was like a domesticated <laughs> bum of a cat who would just like go from house to house, so... Mm. Because he used to get fucked up. He used to come in bleeding and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. But my aunt's done that. They're pretty nasty. They're nasty fuckers. Yeah. But if you want it for just, like, it's predation, for sure get a stray guy. Because you weren't trying to befriend it. Not really. I mean, like, I, I should have clarified. I'm more of a dog person. I yeah. love animals. But, um, yeah. I, I would have been fine with a very sort of, again, symbiotic relationship. Quid, this is a quid pro quo. Right, right. right. Just kind of, like, pass each other the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Good day to you, cat. Like, oh, <laughs> kill a mice. Um, so, so anyway, uh, you know, I'm like, just, just do the paperwork. So when I come back a week later, my mom was with me and she goes into the, uh, there was, the cat was behind a sliding glass door. Mom goes in there. She's petting the cat and I'm signing the paperwork and, and I'm not doing this for comedic effect. I mean, I sign my name, I date it. And then the sliding glass door opens and my mom sticks her head out and she's like, cat just attacked me. <laughs> and so now I'm looking at the paper. I look at the guy. He looks at the paper. He looks at me. My mom sees what's kind of going on and starts to try and run PR for the cat. She's like, oh, I think she might have heard a dog bark. And blood's shooting out of her. <laughs> oh, wow. The cat already attacked your mom. Yes. Hell yeah. And um, <laughs> Good purchase. And so, But at this point, I felt committed. So I was like, all right, let's do it. And he was – I had this little like collapsible travel case. And nice. I gave to the guy, and then he had to like go put Addy into this thing. Addy, that was the cat's nice. name, and she's beating the shit out of him, just like, nah! and and him trying to like act serene while he's sticking this, <laughs> oh <laughs> he's like God. making that cat into his case, <laughs> oh. like, walking home just terrified because she's going nuts. It was like you know the opening scene of Jurassic Park with the velociraptor. So I, I get her in and. I like put her in the litter box. That's what you're meant to do. And then mm-hmm. she goes running up to my bedroom. And the first, so that was the deal. She's a violent cat. Like you would pet her for a couple seconds and then she would attack you. So the, yeah. the first thing I, I, I Google and they're like, you got to make her feel comfortable. So just like talk to her. And so the first four nights I was just getting hammered in my kitchen and then going up into the bedroom, like, hey, Eddie. And just, <laughs> go ahead. You know, I'm just, laughing. just drinking courage in to hey. talk to this cat. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Eddie, come on, man. <laughs> You're not that bad. I'm cat. feeding you. Just help me out. <laughs> help me out, Eddie. Yeah, I feel like I was talking to her like a friend zoned guy. It's just like, I know you've been through a lot, but. Can I kiss you? <laughs> Can I kiss you now? I'd like to kiss you. I'd like to kiss you after the bill. <laughs> Once the check comes, I'd love to give you a kiss. <laughs> I come weird. I struggle to ejaculate. In all fairness, so in that fourth date, though, I did say, I was like, and I, I was like, let me get a kiss. And I was just like, shut up. Wait, so you hit it with the old like? So Let me hard. get a kiss, girl. Let me get a kiss, baby. Oh, Put one on me, baby girl. You know, we just like pecked on the lips. Hey, let uh, me get a kiss. Come here, uh, give your daddy a kiss. 
<laughs> so she gave you a, a, a lip peck? A lip peck. How's and it going we, after that? And we went on another date and had you, one more lip peck. Did you text her like, yo, that was a nice, I liked yeah. our little peck I session. can't stop thinking about that peck. <laughs> <laughs> you kiss like my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I can. You well, gotta, speaking you gotta, of, you got to uh, go back. You should strictly peck. Let's go back. Holy peck. Oh, oh, God. Oh, just, bleh, bleh. Speaking of pecks, dude, I got hit with some gross ones over the holidays. Oh, no, what, from like your aunt? Yeah, hit with my fucking in the neck all the time. Ooh, pecks oh, because you're to tall, the dude. Yeah, I get tall. pecks to the neck from these old people. And nice. It's, very, it's weird. Yes. Yeah. My grandma did that. She would kiss me on the ear, and that's like my sweet spot. It was fucking oh, gross. Yeah. You'd get fucking, you'd get the gruel coming out. <laughs> <laughs> get your butt gruel. Get your brule, dude. <laughs> All right. So, you gotta, so you're, you're all right, drunk so the problem, talking yeah, to yeah. stray cat. So and and the problem with her is that she she was violent, but she also wanted affection. Because at night she would come over. I'd be laying on my back, and she'd climb up on my chest with her paws up by my neck. And then at the slightest provocation, you know, you hear a noise. If I'm like, Ugh, she just eyes wide, swipe, attack, drawing blood. Holy fuck! So I Google again. And I find this guy, Jackson Galaxy, who's like a cat whisperer. Of course. Yeah, I've seen that fucking weirdo. Jackson Galaxy? He is such a douche. Yeah, that's his name? That, oh. That's, yeah. that's his cat name. name. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's awesome, dude. Fuck. <laughs> and uh, his whole thing is he's like, cats are not like dogs. You cannot you cannot yell at a cat, because I was yelling. Um, you, you have to incentivize them. If you yell at a cat, the only thing the cat will learn is to be afraid of you. Mm. So I wanted to incentivize her to get human affection, but I also want to be freaking out every time she attacked sure so my solution to the problem was i got a pair of leather gloves and then i was always afraid she was going to attack my eyes so i got a pair of dewalt construction goggles mm. <laughs> so you you picture the scene you know at night i'm in there i'm in my boxer shorts and they're looking like a minion <laughs> <laughs> for real 100 percent. you dress like a minion <laughs> boxer shorts tank top leather gloves construction goggles cat on my chest oh my god and this one night I guess I had left a little bit of minty toothpaste residue on my mm -hmm. bottom lip because ever so slowly she starts to reach her head forward and then you could hear her little mouth open and just this tongue come out, the little saliva crackles. And then disgustingly, seductively, she licks my bottom lip. Sounds and seductive. It was very seductive. seductive it was seductive, the Shane. The cat's not trying to seduce you, dude. It's Maybe. No. Cat's been down for a while. Might want to fuck, I won't use dude. the word seductive. What? I won't use the word seductive. No, use the word Yo. seductive. It's funny that you think it's seductive. It was seductive. There's no other way that you could... I it's can a see fucking that. cat, dude. Cats are hot. Go on. Cats don't try to seduce you by kissing you on the mouth. A cat would definitely let you fuck it. A cat would let you fuck it, but it's not that I don't think they play human games. It's yeah, not going to be like, it's not going to flirt with you. But this is so going to kiss. It's probably like all you. he's wearing all that PPE. The cat was like, damn, man, you got toothpaste? Let me fucking lick your lip, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this cat's definitely trying to fuck and it licks you. So, but I just want to stay on. Any cat that has ever licked me, I've been like, damn, this cat's definitely <laughs> trying to fuck me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Any animal that licks me, I'm like, dude. Imagine how good you fucking you would, you would destroy a cat, dude. What I would do to a cat? Declawed. I would fucking put a hurting on a cat. <laughs> yeah, dude. If it's clawed up. That's that'd be a struggle. So yeah, but seductive. But seductive. <laughs> now I feel disgusting for saying seductive, especially. Well, it felt seductive in the moment. It was dark. You know, you're alone in your room. It was, you've, it was you've like been if, if you were like, hey, she licked him disgust d d seductively. I, I would picture that slow, like draggy yeah. lick. Plus, you like you're like in that the, you, you almost have ear. almost cat like lick. <laughs> yeah, dude, that rough, <laughs> bumpy tongue. But you like like ear stuff too. So maybe like yeah, yeah, I do. Hearing that cat so close to your ear, kind of, you know, you know, when someone kisses your ear and you hear like yeah. Yeah. yes, like, yes, oh yeah, I'm big yeah. into that too. Yeah. Like so maybe ears. that cat was kind of up in your a little bit, you know. Yeah. That's why hickeys are the shit. Ooh, All right, go maybe. ahead with it. You want to fuck this cat? Well, yeah, so, so she licks my lip, and I immediately get an erection. So, which, you know... Seductively fits. Go on. Yeah. And the, so this, this is the... That's the turn of the story. So now the, the, the comedic challenge is you have to stay in that moment somehow. Of having a boner with a cat licking? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably some people laughing, dude. Yeah, yeah. People well, should laugh at that. They, I, I think they will. I mean, every they, time they I've, have, every yeah. time I've heard you tell that story, when you get to that part, I you, shudder. Yeah. And I know it's coming. That's the yeah. best. But the but I think that there's something too. I was telling Shane like about how you know. So I'm laying there, and of course, you know, I'll be doing a little bit of an act out with the sure. face. And uh, there's something about you know 
your penis is to a degree a freak detector. You don't want it going off at the wrong time. And for that. 35 years, mine had been silent. You know, I'd had it around children and elderly people. All right, maybe leave and that. The so dead. Leave ch- <laughs> no. And then a cat licks my lip and suddenly, eh. So, I mean, funny. you dodged That's a couple funny. bullets. You're not like yeah. an old lady fucker. You. You're not a pedophile. Cat gave you a bone. That's not bad. Two out of three. Forbidden fruits. You got one. You got one really monkey on your back. I prefer to not have that happen. Yeah. And That's you true. have a cat now. I do, yeah. Has this cat ever turned you on? I should, I should put a disclaimer on for it's your listeners. Like, no, lap. I do not get turned on by cats. It's, it's definitely not. sat on your lap and you've gotten hard. Now he has I've nine, not gotten now hard. Has nine I have not cats. gotten hard. I have not gotten hard. The, the thing about it is, and, and like I was saying, if you've read Rory Miller, who I have, and he writes a lot about... I uh, have Fuck Rory Miller. Violence. Fucking weirdo. Then he, mm-hmm. then he says, if you, know, if you get into a violent conflict, you come out unscathed, you're going to be very horny afterwards. So this cat had been... Hmm. I didn't need to read a book to tell me that. Beat me up for however long, getting me fluffed up. It trained so, you. Yeah. This cat Shit. nagged you hard, and then it went in for the kill. 